Hey YouTube, this is Double Six Airsoft, and I got another airsoft gun review for you. Very good. Uh, today I'll be reviewing the Smith and Wesson um, SW40F get a CO2 powered pistol. I bought this gun at my local Rio, my uh, local um, airsoft retail, Army Navy. I'm not gonna reveal where it was location, whatever. So don't, yeah, don't get pissed about it. Um, but I got this gun for about $115 altogether, taxes in. Um, it came with the gun, the mag, the 48 round high cap, uh, high cap extended magazine. And as you can see from the gun, you can automatically pull it back, push up the slide, and it'll lock back firmly. The only way to release it is to push down on the slide release, or Gently pull back and go. Mag release is a bit awkward if you're used to uh, releasing with one hand. So you're going to have to kind of, if you're used to mo just moving your thumb, not going to work. you got to move your whole hand over and drop. Um, so down to the bear gun. Shoots about 380 FPS. Um, I've only fired a couple times, just got a couple days ago. It's all metal except for the main body, which is ABS plastic, which is still good. Um, to release, I'm not going to show you the disassembling video, I'll show that you that some other time, but to um, get the CO2 in, you, you just take this little tool that you get with the gun, unscrew it, And you just unscrew this and then you take one of these CO2 shells. Mine don't work because they're duds. Like the guys that gave me one were like, he's like, oh yeah, they'll work. They didn't work. Only one of them did work. I guess he was guessing you probably maybe would. Only one of the ten he gave me worked. So then the gun all together, I give it a um, 8 out of 10. It's a great gun, great sidearm, but it's my primary at the moment because I don't have the gun broke. And I recommend using 0.2 polished BBs. As you can see, I have the uh, KSC Corporation BBs, perfect 20 gram. They're the best BBs you can get for it. But when you unscrew the bottom, I may, I may have mentioned this before, but you just unscrew it, you pop one of these down inside. You, have, you screw it in as tight as you can, and then you put the magazine in, and before you have to fire, you have to cock it. Or you can just pull it back and do not cock it twice in a row because then because then you'll get jam up, which you don't want to do. Like two times in a row, you don't want to go because then you'll jam up. You'll get two BBs stuck in there, and then you gotta open it up, pull up the clip, barrel jammer down the barrel, and then dump out the BBs, and then you're all set to go. But that's not a big problem with the gun. Otherwise, yeah, it's a good gun. I recommend it for anyone who's a um, new um, intermediate airsoft player. I recommend it's my the best gas um, gas slash CO2 pistol I've ever seen. Um, very reliable. I've seen it fire as accurately as a JG G36C, which that gun is, you know, freaking pwned. So yeah, that's my review on the Smith and Weston. Um, SW40F. Thanks for watching, YouTube.